So this is a video about me being super excited. I'm trying to keep my voice low because my thumb is like right outside the door and I don't uh, want them to hear me talking to myself, which is kind of weird to me, I guess. <laughs> um, but I have my first photo shoot tomorrow. I'm really excited. There is a uh, Paul Savage with photography. Someone on my steampunk persona uh, posted a link from his fan page on my onto my uh, wall and said something like, you should try this, blah, 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 and I'm like, no, I don't have the money to pay a photographer to take pictures of me, and I felt really awkward about it, but then he was saying that he's looking for steampunk people and cosplay and some other things as well, and then it was free, so I was like, I have steampunk friends that would want to go with me to do this, and I this would be a great opportunity for me as well, so I contacted him after I asked if he takes all shapes, all shapes and sizes, and he said yes, so then I talked to him on the phone, and I'm going to be doing uh, some shoots with my friends. So tomorrow we are going to a studio, which is downtown. I live in uh, La Mesa, which is part of San Diego. And um, he wants to tea. He liked the idea um, that we had done before in my photos with my friends that we take each other with my crappy camera of doing like a seance of sorts and uh, taking pictures of it. He didn't really know what steampunk was, but he liked the look of it and everything. So I tried to explain it to him from my point of view. I explain to him what my persona is like and what my friend's persona is like. So me, which is Mina Kaiser, uh, Victor Graves, which is my friend Devin, and his daughter Fiona, which is Lily Luz, are all going to go to his studio tomorrow. And he said that he wants to do portrait shots, so I'm assuming that's individual shots. And then some of us doing like a seance together. So I've been packing up, packing up, sorry I'm so nervous that I'm having trouble speaking. <laughs> packing a bunch of supplies and um, I have so much stuff. I mean, I sell pagan things, I make pagan things, I got a lot of pagan things in this house. So I was trying to look up what Victorian seances look like. I'm trying to get an idea from that, but also bring some other things, just in case he likes the idea. Um, if I had more, had more time, I would have, you know, <laughs> made some steampunk uh, seance stuff. Like I was thinking of making a box that lights up or something weird. I don't know. Using vacuum tubes to suck out spirits from something. Something funky, you know, I don't know using lots of copper and brass <laughs> but um so then my friends have been years for me pushing me to model and I'm like no I'm too big I don't have a good body even for a plus size girl I'm shaped very weird I have a very long torso small breasts you know and this doesn't work but they always feel like in my pictures I take up myself and friends take me on Facebook they're like you need to do it you need to go into it you're a beautiful girl and I'm like no I'm not the type of girl to model I don't really like getting in front of the camera of somebody else's camera even my friends take my pictures is sometimes uh makes me like nervous but um I feel really good about this and uh because of this I did sign up on Model Mayhem I was told not to by somebody in my family because they said it's just full of like skanky kind of girls and after looking at a lot of them I'm like you're kind of right it's a lot of girls who have nice bodies so I think they've models but I'm like you know what if they can do it I can do it I'll just go for different work you know so I signed up for there and immediately I found somebody who found me through Twas through my well and spindle um, YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting this on Mina, on Wayward Mina, and the Wild Spindle. So if you see this on YouTube twice, it's because I have two channels. Um, and then he's thinking I want to do a shoot with me. Somebody else is local and wants to do shoots this for with me as well. Then I was talking about, like, on my page, I was like, I want someone to take my picture. <laughs> you know, just because of being silly. And another friend of mine said they would take my picture as well. And a friend of a friend had said she wanted to take my picture. So I'm like, oh my god, all these people want to take my picture for fun. You know, I'm not getting paid for this. I'd rather, I just want to, to do fun stuff. To look back on this and say this was a memory, this was an experience that I'm going to remember forever. It's something different. And I'm going to get sh photo shoots out of it. Um, I don't expect payment or anything unless I have to travel somewhere or like a it's a really strenuous work or something. You know, if they're going to ask me to do something weird. But usually I just want and as my payment is give me copies of the pictures please um i know some models get like clothes that they photo got their shoot done in for free and stuff but i don't think i'm gonna end up in that kind of work i think it's mostly going to be just like doing stuff with friends and whatnot but you never know so i'm not gonna put it down now <laughs> i love that i'm talking about modeling i'm not wearing any makeup <laughs> i had just done a video where i curled my hair for the first time i was trying to do a different uh look for my steampunk persona but yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be fun for me. I like, I don't know, I like having my picture taken. Even though I get nervous about it at the same time, so I usually take my own pictures. But um, uh, I like artistic things, artistic photos that are funky. I don't want to just sit there on a rock and smile. I want to do something weird. I want to dress up funky. I want to do my hair funky, my makeup funky. I want to be loud and crazy or dark and scary, something. 
So hopefully I get a chance to do stuff like that. And um, yeah, that's it for now. So uh, thank you for watching.